changed. Oh, Mother, surely not in three months. My dear, when you were their age... Yes, I know. And they were dragged off to the city by some stranger as well. The place has been so quiet without them. Yes, it has, rather. It was your fault. It was all your fault. It on purpose, didn't you? You pushed me. You shouldn't have got in the way then. I didn't. You ran right into me and knocked all my books onto the ground. I did not. Yes, you did. I saw you. You liar. Your sister's stupid. Aww. I'm going to tell my daddy on you. What are you going to do? Give me my kitten back. Uh... Klaus! Oh. Klaus! Danny, what are you doing? Danny! 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 Klaus! Daddy, come back!
Dennis. Hello. What have you been doing? Oh, not very much, really. We were helping Papa, and then I came back to get the lunch ready. Isn't Danny with you? No, I left him with Papa. They should be back soon. I'm glad you came to stay with us. It was my idea. I'm afraid I'm getting a bit old to be of much use. I'll do what I can. Papa was going to have to sell some of the cows to pay for a housekeeper. It seems so awful. I was delighted to come. You seem to have managed splendidly. You've become quite the little mother, haven't you? Working hard, I see. Where's Danny? Isn't he here? I left him with you. Danny! I wonder if Lucy knows where he is. He was there when I left. Oh, Madame Morel, please may I speak to Lucien? Yes, if you can find him. Wretched boy. That's all he's got to do. But the cow uh, from me. But please, Not good enough. Please. I've got far too much when to do as it is. When he comes, will you ask him if he's seen Danny? He disappeared more than an hour ago, and we haven't seen him since. Where did you last see him? Up by the top woods. Lucy was there at the time, and I thought they might have gone off together. Oh, dear. <gasps> what was that? It's them! Lucien? What's the matter? Are you all right? Danny! Where is he? What have you done with him? Tell me! You've got to tell it wasn't me! my fault! What wasn't your fault? Lucien. Where is Lucien. he? You Where? do know! Where? You're lying! Madame, he's got to tell me! Do you know where Danny is? He's dead. <laughs> Danny, I'm coming. Danny? Danny? Is he alive?
He shall give his angels charge over thee. Is he going to be all right? Yes, I'm sure he will. Let's get him back to the house. Just take his ankles, very gently. to be at the hospital by now. Poor little thing. Grandma, what shall we do with Lucien Morel? He should be punished, but I can't think of anything to pay him back. Have you ever thought, Annette, that when we do wrong, it often brings its own punishment without anyone else interfering. Think of how afraid Lucien must have been when he saw Danny fall, and how miserable he must be feeling tonight. Think of how afraid he must be of people finding out what he's done. And what they're going to say. And then think, perhaps, whether he hasn't been punished quite enough. And whether we could forgive him and help him to start again. And Nick, what on earth's going on? I can't get anything out of them at home. Danny's broken his leg and it's all your brother's fault. What? Lucian dropped the kitten into the ravine and then Danny fell in after it. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if he pushed him. And Nick, he He was couldn't. down there on the rocks for hours and Lucian never even told anyone. He could have been dead by now. Marie? Annette, I feel awful about Danny as well, but all I can do for him now is to pray for him. If I allowed myself to feel as you do, and I could, then I wouldn't even be able to pray for him. God is love. I can't go to him full of hatred and expect him to listen to me. Leave Lucien to God. He rewards both good and evil. And remember, he loves Lucien every bit as much as he loves Danny. He couldn't possibly. I'm afraid he does. Well, in that case, I shall leave the praying to you. He disgusts me. Will you be all right? I must get down to the hotel. I'm late already. I'll get back as early as I can tonight. Mr. Blake 
can't understand why you didn't call anyone. If that Bernier child is badly injured, we shall be ruined. We'll have to pay all the bills, and we can't possibly afford it. Oh, Lucien, how could you do such a thing? Don't you want any? Then get ready for school. Don't let the other children bother you. Bye bye. Annette, you should be in school by now. Grandma said I could stay till you came back. Now, Hello. let's try and get him out of here. You take his legs, Annette. Oh, poor little oh. thing, what I are they doing? Careful. I've got white trousers all the time. Careful. <laughs> Way, yeah. There we go. Get you in. Oh, Whoa. we'll get you in. There, you're home again. There, there you are. Here, here, the door. You're back now, Danny. Where's right. right now? Hey, oh, over on my bed, on my bed. Put him over on my bed, yeah. I'll put you for you in a minute. I want him now. Oh, all right, I'll go and get him. Oh, his leg's heavy. Oh. oh there we are. I thought he'd have to stay in hospital. Well, I did want him to. But he made such a fuss, I decided to bring him home. I'm glad you did. It means I can look after him now. There you are. Now, would you like a nice hot drink and a gingerbread biscuit? Yes. Come on. I'll get something for you as well. If you want anything, just tell me, all right? You know, I went right down to the bottom of the cliff. I know. But it wasn't your fault, was it? Danny, you must promise me never to go near that Lucien Morel again. Do you understand? You mustn't even speak to him. 
Let me see it. What's the matter? I'm not going to eat you. Come on. Hmm. Hmm. Do you have any proper tools? Come with me. I'd like to show you something. Have you ever thought of taking up wood carving? Well, you should. You've got talent. It's not everyone who can get a good likeness. Lucien? Well, how was it? 
All right. Didn't the teacher say anything to you? No. And the other children? Nothing. I've been worrying about you all day. Perhaps it'll be all right now. Come on, Marie. The food's out already. Little coward. That's enough, Marie. No, Ma. Why did you let him do it? You should have made him go to school. He did go to school. Leave the poor boy alone. He did not go to school. I don't know where he's been all day, but it certainly wasn't at school. Lucien? I met the school teacher on the way home, and he asked me where Lucien was today. And was everything all right? Lucien! When I'm finished with this drawing, I'd like the older ones to copy it down in their exercise books. We'll have more time after the break if you need it. Do you know what Lucian Morell has done? He the dropped out his kitten over the ravine and Danny tried to get it back. Pushed really? him and Danny fell in and broke his leg. Especially. It's the only thing you know what Lucian Morell did. Well, well, we'll Pushed my brother over the ravine. I'm going to begin with, and this will be for the younger ones as well, I'm going to begin with some of the ways in which it spreads diseases. It's such an innocent looking little thing. And yet it can cause so much harm. Bernard. Sir? Bring me that piece of paper. <laughs> Put it on my desk. Is this your writing, Annette? Yes, sir. Do you really think this is necessary? It's true, sir. I know it's true. I said, do you really think it's necessary? I find it difficult to understand Lucien's behavior, and we're all very glad it didn't turn out any worse than it did. No doubt you'll think twice before doing any such stupid thing again. But if I hear any more malicious gossip over this matter, I shall be very, very cross.
Yes, that's good. Yes. I like it. Oh, yeah. You can't have a Noah's Ark without lions. You know, you'll soon be able to sell some of your models. Would you like that? Do you really mean that? Of course I do. There's a man down in the village who sells my carvings. We could take some of yours and show them to him. Today they announced a handwork competition. Oh yes. What's the prize going to be? I don't know. But that doesn't really matter. Aren't you going to enter? Yes. <laughs> and I'll show them I'm better than all of them. Oh, I'm sure you are. Was there ever any doubt? I'm going to carve a galloping horse. Its mane and its tail streaming out behind it. But why try a horse? Why not uh, use your Noah's Ark? It's a present for a little boy. Your brother? No, he lives near me. He got hurt in an accident. Oh, badly? Broke his leg. Oh, dear. Aren't you going to tell me about it? He was playing up in the mountains. And the boy came and teased him. Said he would drop his kitten over a ravine. He wasn't really going to. And then, and then it happened. And Danny went after it. I couldn't stop. What are you doing? You don't want me here now. Why ever not? No one else does. What am I going to do for a friend if you go now? Come, sit down. His sister won't let me go and see him. Oh. Is she still angry with you? She's always telling other people about it. Hmm. 
It won't be easy. People are slow to forget. It's a good thing you're doing. Stick at it. Go on. Don't let her discourage you. I'm afraid it's a bit soon for that. Why? Come on, Danny. Oh. Careful. There you are. Mind out. Watch me. Look, one of my legs is shorter than the other. Oh, Daddy, don't be silly. What is it? What's the matter? Go on, Danny. Show your granny how you can climb the steps. have a limp. You know, Zark. Made it for Danny. Do you know what you've done? Don't you ever come here again. Make you want to give up now. It's all right for you. Maybe. You have to see. Oh, I 
got something for you. Hi, oh, here it is. Oh, thank you. Hey, have you heard? Young Billy here, Charles, gonna have a permanent limp. No. Hi. Oh, what a shame. It's not right, is it? He should be locked up, he should. All right, just give him time. Oh, Annette, is this for the competition? <laughs> Gosh, it's marvellous, isn't but it? But I was making it for Danny anyway. Oh, Annette, it's bound to win the prize. No, I think Bernard's going to get the prize. Oh, we've got a dog just like that. It's not a dog, you idiot. It's a bear. Oh, I'm sorry. I really did think it was a dog. Oh, come on. Anyone can see it's a bear. Stupid as you look, are you? You'll see. When you win the prize, they'll all want to be your friends. Come on, let's eat. A rhinoceros, a buffalo, and a tortoise. I think the fairies made them, don't you? Don't be so stupid.
my horse? No. Marie, have you taken Lucien's horse? No. Are you sure you didn't bring it in with you? No. Could it have blown off the balcony? Oh, no! Somebody's trodden on it. I can't it. people mind where they're going. Oh. Isn't there anything we can do with it? How goes the carving, hmm? When are you going to win that prize? I'm not going to win that prize. My horse is all smashed. Oh, no. Oh, I am sorry. It fell over, and someone must have trampled on it. And now I can't enter anything for the competition. Well, you could enter something else. What about the chamois head that you did? That was quite good. I didn't have the proper tools then. And they'll think I can't do anything better. Well, does it matter what they think? Yes. Why? Because they all hate me. And they think I'm no good. And you think that winning that prize will make them think better of you? They won't. And what's the point of trying? Because you have to earn the love and respect of others. And you'll never do that by doing things for yourself. But who am I to be talking of winning the love and respect of other people? Yes. Come here. Hope you can keep a secret. Because I'm going to tell you something I've never told anyone else. I robbed a bank once. Oh, it's all right. This isn't it. Sit down. I used to work at the bank once. I stole the money bit by bit over a long period of time until they caught me. They put me in prison. I left my wife, Anna, to look after two small children. She... She was a good woman. A godly woman. 
hundred. It killed her. It's the humiliation of it. She just couldn't take it. I, two boys, didn't know me when I got out of prison. They were fairly well established in their careers. Where are they now? Geneva. One's in business. One's a doctor. Quite successful, I think. Don't they ever come here? They don't know where I am. When I got out of prison, I felt if I went to them, it would spoil their chances in their careers. So I came here. I get news of them sometimes from the man who sells my carvings in the village. No. That's the money I earn from the carvings. Almost the same as what I stole. There were a lot of people hurt by what I did. I don't even know who they were. So I can't repay them. But I would feel very much better if I could think of something worthwhile to do with it. There. Now you know my secret. <laughs> I hope it's safe with you. Good. And now it's time you are getting off home. And don't let me hear any more of this nonsense of giving in. You may be able to run away from the village, but you can't run away from yourself. Go on. Off you go now. And show them what you're made of. I must say that the handwork this year is really quite exceptional. I'm sure all the parents who are with us today must be delighted with all this work. My sister made that. Danny. <laughs> Well, now that you mention it, yes, I think I do. You've won the prize, Annette. You've won the prize. Well, having had that decision taken out of my hands, we come to the boys' entries. Here again, the quality is so good, that I have to confess there is one which stands out above them all. The prize this year for the best boy really must go to Bernard Ile. What are you playing? Go away! I'm playing with my fairy animals. But let's say I'm not to talk to you. I won't hurt you. And I was very sorry about your leg. That's why I made the animals for you. You didn't make them. I found them behind the woodpile.
Come on, hurry up. It's getting cold. Annette? Lucian said he made my fairy animals, but he didn't, did he? Danny, I've told him not to talk to Lucian. He'll only hurt you again. Oh, Annette, that's not kind. But I only talked to him a teeny weeny bit. Anyway, he didn't make them, did he? You found them in the wood pile, didn't you? So how could he have done? Don't be so silly. Well, he said he did. But I think the fairies made them, don't you? Oh, do be quiet, Danny. And eat up your soup. Annette. I think her conscience is troubling her. What's that? It's a little thing inside us that keeps getting in the way. to understand those little animals really were from Lucian. Oh, Annette, I don't know what's going on between you two, but do you really think it's worth it? Don't you see what it's doing to you, my dear? You've cut off Lucian and God, and now you're beginning to hurt little Danny as well. Think about it, my dear. Think very hard.
Can't you walk at all? Uh, look, if you weren't here, I think it'd be best if I go home, get the sledge for you. Don't worry, I'll be as quick as I can. Don't you be cold. Jesus, thank you for sending Lucian to help me. I'm sorry I've been shutting you out all these months because I wanted to hate him. I wanted to punish him. I'm sorry. I really am. tell you something before we go home. You know that time your horse fell off the balcony? Well, it was me. I did it on purpose because I didn't want you to win the prize. I'm sorry. Come on. Your father's just this minute gone out looking for you. Yes, he's seen us. He's just getting some bandages. Lucian, come in. You're very welcome. Come. Sit down, both of you. I'll go and get you some good hot soup. And it. 
I've tried not to interfere. But isn't it time you forgave Lucien? I have. And have you told him? Yes, today in the mountains. And what brought this about? Come on, you. Let's have you on the sofa. Let's have a look at it. Well then. Ow! Is it here? Yes. I just wanted to get out and think about what was said at church last night. You know, about the innkeeper not letting Mary and Joseph in and people who still don't let Jesus in. And, ow! Ow. Then I fell up by the Bairdo's house and um, there was nobody there but I still felt like they weren't letting me in on purpose. I thought God must feel a bit like that, really. It was awful. And then Lucien arrived, of all people. Just couldn't stand it anymore. And so I had to tell him. Tell him what? It's a secret. Oh. I'll tell you one day. Come in, come in. Now, what can I do for you? These are really exceptionally good. They're beautiful. I had no idea that Lucien. Why did he not enter for the competition? He did. That's what I've come to tell you about. He made a little wooden horse. But I broke it because I was so angry about Danny. But I'm sorry now, and I wondered if he couldn't have a prize, now that you know about it. But I haven't got another prize. There were only two. One was given to Bernard and the other to you. Well, then he ought to have Bernard's prize. His were much better. Oh, no, we couldn't do that. After all, Bernard won quite fairly. We couldn't take his prize away. If you really want Lucien to have a prize, then I think you should give him yours. After all, it was your fault, wasn't it? Hmm? It seems we have a late entry for the handwork competition. Indeed, I must say I was as surprised as you are. Normally, I would not consider such a late entry. However, during the holidays, I came across such a good piece of wood carving that I've decided to award another prize for it. Lucien, would you like to come up and receive it? Thank you. Well done. You deserve it. Thank you. Annette, it's like yours. It's 
is it? I think you ought to keep it. It's your book. No, it's yours now. The teacher said so. You've got to keep it. I'll tell you what. Why don't I have it this month and you have it the next? And we'll change every month. All right. Danny, what are you doing here? Granny said I could come here. Because dinner's ready and I've had mine. You shouldn't have come so far. I thought you'd be back sooner. Come on. Oh, my leg hurts. Shall I carry him? Would you like that? Must be frozen. What's this? Money, I think. What's it for? Got it as a tip. Really? Monsieur Givet. He's a doctor from down by the lake. Quite famous, I believe. Isn't that nice of him? Madame was telling me he's got a clinic. People come from all over the world. He's some sort of bone specialist. Honestly, he was ever so nice. Can he mend broken legs? I think so, yes. Oh, Lucy, you're not still thinking about Danny, are you? Could he do it? I suppose so. Have you any idea how much it would cost? No. Nor have I. But it'd be far more than the Bernays could afford. Forget about Danny, Lucian. It's over with. Well, would you just come and have a look at Danny? What good would that do? I just thought that we could find out if anything could be done. He leaves tomorrow early. We could go now. How? On the train. It's too late. If we hurry. Lucian, don't be silly. that my boy what brings you here in this weather <coughs> are you all right no you once said you were saving your money to give it something worthwhile yes well, I think I've found someone who really needs it. If you will give me your money, 
I think little Danny Bernier's leg might be made better. How could that be? There's a doctor at the hotel where my sister works who can mend broken bones. My sister said he'd want a lot of money. I'm going over the pass now to ask him to come and have a look at Danny. You're going over the pass in this weather? But, boy, you must be mad. You couldn't cross the pass in this weather. I think I could, on my skis. The fresh snow won't be too deep yet if I hurry. But it's no good going unless I've got the money. I would give the money if I were sure of the man. But what do we know of him? Suppose he should cheat us. My sister says he's a very famous man. Monsieur... Givet, I think. Monsieur Givet? Do you know any more about him? He's got a clinic down by the lake. People come to him from all over the world. Take it all and give it to Monsieur Givet and tell him it is the payment of a debt. Thank you very much. Now, you won't forget the message, will you? No. I'll say it. it's a payment of a debt. And don't tell him about me. No. Nor my name. No, I don't know your name. Nor where I live. No, I'll just say it's a payment of a debt. Bye-bye. Goodbye. And be careful. Stuck in the snow. And he 
help me? Please? Please? I didn't do that, Danny, on purpose. I promise I didn't. Please help me. Please help me to get to the doctor. Please help me to get to the doctor. Please. Excuse me, Monsieur Givet, were you by any chance expecting any, any visitors? A visitor? At this hour? Yes, it's like this, Monsieur. About a quarter of an hour ago, I heard a little rap on the door, and when I went to answer it, there standing on the step is this boy in skis, about 12 years old, white as a sheet, looking more like a ghost than a boy. <laughs> I want to see Monsieur Givet, says he without so much as a good morning. Then he falls down on his knees and leans his head against the doorpost. Well, says I, you can't come calling on people at this time of the morning. He's sound asleep in his bed. Then I'll wait, says he, and he sinks his head down on his knees. Well, sir, I, I don't like to see a child like that. So I takes his skis off and I drags him inside and I puts him on a chair. Where have you come from, says I? From Pre Doré, says he. How's that, says I, the early train's not in yet. I came through the pass, says he. Yes, monsieur, through the pass. And the more I look at him, the more I feel likely to believe it. And when I saw your light on, I thought I'd come and see if you'd like to see him too. Well, I'll come and see him, certainly. <laughs> but as for coming over the pass, I don't believe a word of it. It must have been terrible up there last night. Well, time. you'll see for yourself, sir. Dear. I'll take him to my room. Bring me a hot water bottle and some brandy. Oh, and some hot coffee. Yes, sir. And be as quick as you can. Yeah, what, sir? Monsieur Givet. I understand you wanted to see me. Are you great, clever, famous doctor? <laughs> no, I'm just a doctor. Can you make lame children walk? It depends why they are lame. Sometimes I can. 
He fell off a precipice. Now he has to walk with crutches. Who? Little Danny Bernier. He lives in the chalet next to ours. So I came to ask whether you can make him well again. Coffee, monsieur. Uh, thank you, Porter. There we are. How did you hear of me? My sister's a maid here, she told me. But how did you get here in that storm? I came over the pass on my skis. <laughs> you couldn't have done. Not that night. But I did. Please, sir, w would this be enough to make Danny better? What's your name? Lucien Morel. Lucien, before we go any further, I must know where this money came from. Do you know how much there is here? No, but my sister said you'd, you'd want a lot. Isn't it enough? Oh, that depends whether you want to buy my clinic as well. Lucien, where did you get it? It's an old man I know. I'm friends with him. And there's a message with it. He said... It was a payment of a debt, and you were to take it all. Who is this old man? What's his name? I don't know. Where does he live? Please. He made me promise not to tell you. He's a sort of a secret. No one goes to see him except me. All right. I shan't ask anything more for now. But tell me about little Danny's accident. How did it happen? And when? It was my fault, really. I was teasing him. And then I, I pretended to drop, to drop his cat over a, a ravine. And then, by mistake, I really did. Danny went after it, fell and broke his leg. And ever since, he's, he's never walked properly again. And I thought, perhaps... All right. We'll go and see Danny together. It may be that God is going to make you the means of curing him. You know, you have a lot to thank God for. I think he must have been looking after you in a very special way last night, or you would never have got over that pass alone. Now, I think you'd better get some sleep before I take you home. Hmm? Oh, sir, Potter tells me you've got my little brother. Is he all right? Yes, exhausted, but all right. Oh, sir, we've been searching for him all night. Don't worry, my dear. I think he'll be all right now. Perhaps you'd tell Danny's parents that I'll be along to see him, would you? Yes, thank you, monsieur. Thank you so much. You're very helpful. Thank you. I am certain the management will give you the day off. I'm sure they will. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Would you like a sweet? Yes, go on. <laughs> Does your leg hurt you? No. Mm. No, monsieur. Monsieur. Only sometimes, when I walk without my crutches, would you like to see my crutches? Very much indeed. Wonderful. Just like a kangaroo. Now, give me your crutches and let me see you walk without them, hmm? Let's have some coffee, shall we, Annette? Yes, Grandma. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now. Mm. Now. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh. Yes. Well. Would you like to be able to run around like other little boys? Hmm? <laughs> Danny, where's that fine cat gone? To the woodshed. Would you like to see him? Yes, please. Oi! <laughs> I think I may be able to help you, though I'd have to see the x-rays first. I think the bone was not properly set and has joined up in the wrong way. I could break it again and pull it out straight, but it would mean an operation and a long stay in hospital. Would you be willing to let him come? Well, um, how much would it cost? It wouldn't cost you anything. Lucien has paid. But I can't explain that now. We must decide before Danny comes back. Will you let me take him? Yes. When? Tomorrow. I'll be leaving on the early train. I'll take Danny with me. On the train? Where am I going? Where, Annette? Danny, you're coming with me down to the lake where I'm going to make your leg better. And Annette? And Klaus and Grandma and Papa? Danny, we can't all come. <sighs> Does the girl know anything about looking after children? She brought this one up. And Annette? So, I want to see you two at the station at half past eight tomorrow morning and enough things to last you for two or three months, all right? Yes. Now, I must take poor Lucien home. And then I have another small matter to deal with. Oh, man. Oi, 
All right. Stop. Oh. Do you know him? The money. Excuse me. Monsieur. Excuse me, monsieur. Monsieur. So ashamed. But you might have known. We've been wondering where you were. But, it would but have why did you go away like this? It wouldn't have spoiled all your chances, Oh, no, no. You couldn't have. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see uh, you, my yeah. boy. So good to Lucien, see you. I would like you to meet my father. He's coming home with me as well. <laughs> Come on, father. Get on the sleigh. Oh, there we are. What a day. <laughs> Let's go. Away. city by some stranger as well. The place has been so quiet without them. Yes, it has rather. is going to make you the means of curing him. <laughs> 